you know, life after divorce as a woman. Mm. Um, I would honestly sit here and say, as much as I've made the decision and the choice to divorce my husband then, mm. I also regret it. I don't regret it because I, 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 I still loved him, but I regret it because I feel like I denied my children the right sure. and the opportunity to have what people call a normal family. Now today I'm sitting with kids who are in the statistic of divorce. Mm -hmm. So as much as I've divorced, I would never, never ever advise anybody to go through a divorce. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at women that regret divorcing their husbands. Some are sharing like, you know, different aspects that makes them regret it. And my heart actually goes out to them because it's not a good thing to experience. I saw in the comment where somebody was saying, it's until you are in this space that you understand what this woman is sharing. People that are not divorced, especially the ones with, that don't have kids, they won't understand what most of these women are saying. I don't know. I can't relate to because I'm not even married to start with. So, but I love discussions like this because it will help us better understand people that are already in situations like this, what life is, what life is for them. I understand how some persons might come on the internet to perform for us because they want to appear that they're happy, they have it going together. But I'm not negating that there are actually women that post divorce, they have their life together, they're living their best life. So there is that also. Uh, you know, I would rather you walk away than, you know, dying in a marriage that is, you know, that is limiting for you if you've tried your own best. So, well, let's get into the video of the day. I found out today that my ex husband is engaged, that I'm unwell. <laughs> and like, even though, yes, it was me that was like, hi, I want divorce. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. It brings up all these feelings. It brings up all this like stuff. And we have a kid and it brings up all this stuff around him. I want to be a boss bitch. I want to be independent. I don't need a man. I can do this all on my own. But you cannot just like pretend that it doesn't affect you. And I feel like people should be more out loud about it because I wish that I had more people that were like totally honest and like super transparent in really difficult times. Welcome back family. Today, we're going to review this 37-year-old modern woman who decided to leave her marriage just because she got bored of her husband. Then, she gets jealous and starts to cry when her ex-husband got engaged to a more attractive, younger woman. But before we watch her cry over her ex-husband moving on, I will let her introduce herself so that you guys can see how self-centered she was just after divorcing her husband and understand the level of craziness we are going to have to deal with today. Oh my god, hi! How are you? It's been so long. Just kidding, we're strangers. Um, and you don't know me. And this is my first video on this page. Did I grab your attention? Probably not, that's okay, you can keep swiping. I'm bored and something is telling me, it's not rational thought, but something is telling me to start talking at, at myself on the internet and just like, let's see what sticks, you know? Maybe it'll make someone laugh. Maybe it will motivate someone. Maybe it will be inspirational. Uh, or maybe it'll just be like, who is this bitch? It could be any of those things. It could be none of those things, but we won't know unless we try, right? So in the spirit of not giving a fuck, um, here we are. So who am I? My name is Abby. I am a millennial. And I'm also a single parent. I'm divorced. Love living my single era. I have no interest in dating, but do have some good stories. I was almost going to give away too much. I'm going to save that one for later. But anyways, back to who am I and why should you stick around. I'm on this like journey to discover my life's purpose and I'm doing lots of different things to try and like sort out what that purpose might be. Um, including watch the movie soul. And let me tell you, I think the lesson is that like your purpose isn't like the thing you're supposed to be good at, but like the small moments 
did I like totally miss interpret that movie because I haven't actually watched the beginning to end in a long time because my kid again is five and has a really small attention span so we'll start something and then not finish it so I could be mistaken but anyways back to the point trying to discover that at 37 years old is crazy what is it I don't know that's what we're gonna figure out and that's what I'm gonna bring bring the internet along for and even if it's just one of you and possibly my mom who has burner TikTok accounts, apparently, Betsy. Whatever, she can see this, it's fine. Anyway, I'll see you around. I am sure that you heard it for yourselves when she was bragging about how she is enjoying her single life. Well, all that fake happiness went through the window when she learned that her ex-husband just got engaged and has totally moved on happily. For the sake of being like totally fucking transparent and this like real on social media because everyone's so fucking phony and like refuses to talk about like real things that are like really happening i just i just found out today that my ex-husband is engaged and i'm unwell <laughs> and listen i'll be fine but the only way out is through Okay, the only way out of this is through it. You cannot bypass it, you cannot suppress it, you cannot wish it didn't exist, you cannot, well you can wish it didn't exist, but you cannot just like pretend that it doesn't affect you. The only way out is directly through. I know I will be fine. I'm hoping that future me comes back to this and is like, you were, you were going to be good. You were going to be fine. And, and you know it. I know it. I know I will. And like, even though, yes, it was me that was like, hi, I went divorced. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Like, literally, hey, sorry, play Taylor Swift. I hate it here. Like, I can't, can't do this anymore. Even though that is true, it can also be true that it fucking sucks. It brings up all these feelings. It brings up all this, like, stuff. And we have a kid, and it brings up all this stuff around him. And very little of it has anything to do with my actual ex. Uh, so, I'm here to be real. I can't live any other way. And I feel like people should be more out loud about it because I wish that I had more people that were like totally honest and like super fucking transparent in really difficult times. Because this is what, like, builds connections and, like, builds, like, common ground and builds, like, validity and all this shit that we feel that people just don't talk about. And I fucking hate it. <sighs> all right. I'm going to be done because I, I, just, I just, you know, I'll be fine. Everything will be right. But. Most modern women put on a front on the internet while they actually cry non-stop behind closed doors. This is the reality of most modern women. They are unhappy deep down. And this woman is new to TikTok, and she is just realizing now how much everyone is fake in here. She can clearly see that all these divorced women that are cheering each other up put on a front of being happily divorced. But when she compares that to what is happening in her real life, she came to the conclusion that everyone is just fake and they don't want to talk about their real issues. This is one of the biggest reasons I dedicate this channel to keeping on exposing these modern women because they are all putting on a front to romanticize divorce so that they can push more women to join them in their misery. I will not stop until I expose every single one of these fake happy divorced modern women. Now, the last clip of this woman that we are going to analyze is actually the most important and informative because it shows how messed up most of these modern women's minds are, how they prefer to follow what makes them feel good at the moment instead of doing the right thing. The clip is a little bit long, so bear with me here. We are going to cut it in three parts. The first part will talk about the infamous manifestation stupid theory. I think 
everybody needs to go to therapy. I know that's not a revolutionary statement. It's probably obvious, but... A woman shared her regrets about not working harder to save her marriage now that her ex-husband is happily remarried. The 41-year-old woman shared to the True Off My Chest subreddit that she left her husband around 10 years ago, shortly after they'd had their first child together. According to this woman, there were no major issues in the marriage. She was a stay-at-home mom and had her husband wrapped around her finger. He did whatever she said and she burned him out. When he grew tired of her demands, she started threatening divorce. She thought she was still a great catch and that she could do better than her husband, so she left. She ended up getting joint custody of her son and the house after the divorce. Now, 10 years later, the ex-husband is happily remarried with a baby daughter and a new house. The divorced woman, on the other hand, has been unmarried ever since. She's jealous of her ex-husband's new wife, saying, she took my husband, she took my kid, she took my life that was once mine, and now I live in an empty house. She claims she is alone and miserable and wishes she would have been a better wife 10 years ago so she wouldn't be in this situation. As you can probably imagine, not many people were very sympathetic towards this woman. You got what you deserved and he got what he deserved, one Redditor commented. Others noted that the new wife didn't take anything from her with one saying, you gave it away. This woman's story may end in bitterness and guilt, but that's not the case for most divorcees. According to research derived from family law attorneys, 80% of divorcees end up remarried. While divorce is a valid option in many situations, it's not always the solution. It takes two to make things work and many people believe this woman reaped what she sowed. Divorce my husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. So while I was, you know, doing this video, I saw this post on IGN. I tried to add it. Like, it actually, after we also talk about stuff like this. Let me just read it out quickly. So this person wrote, this person is actually from my country, Nigeria, but you know, of course she, she's abroad with her husband and her family. I don't know if I should still say husband in this case. But let's, let me just read it out. I'm going through a divorce with my husband. I have been homeless for a year and have been hurt, you know, sexually and physically. So if anything happens, ask or hold the man who brought me to a country where to a country where I know no one. He's trying to take children he's trying to take children away by saying I'm mentally sick. God Almighty bless Nigeria and Africa. My heart pray for your daughter of the soil. I have been through so much this past year. Please my African pray for my children and I in case you don't hear for me again, know that I have been, you know, on a life. I'm not sick mentally and I do not do drugs. Okay, so I genuinely want you guys to, you know, to, you know, to hear your input on this. You know, I know that we as women, we know how to emotionally manipulate a situation to favor us. So, oftentimes, you don't even know what is true, especially when it's coming from one source because. It's something I've come to realize in, as an adult. When even I myself, when I'm telling a story, when I'm recounting an account that I've you know gone through, or somebody that you know annoys me, I say it in a way that it will favor me. I'm let's be honest. At times, unconsciously, I don't even know when I do that because maybe, especially if I'm speaking from a place of pain or anger, I will say it in a way because it's I'm hot. I will say everything because of out of anger, the way it's annoying me. Even though I might mean, not even I'm, I'm wrong, I was still saying the way to paint myself. So I'm just saying that I want us like on fire. Let's try to you know talk about this particular matter. What what's your take on? Okay, let me just give you guys this up because most of you might not understand where this is coming from. So there's been an ongoing situation with people from my country that live abroad, especially in Western culture, UK, US, Canada, you know. You know western culture so our men have been complaining that 
when they they go when they cross over to you know to this country things get better for them they come back to marry women from our country and take them abroad with them well they've discovered this trend that once these women come abroad and mix with the you know the western modern women they start acting like them you know, they start because our men are wired to be providers that's the way they are wired so the, the women start acting out. They don't want to play their wifely duties anymore. You know, they want to, you know, they want to be outside. And because they believe that, you know, the culture there will favor them. They want to divorce their man. Some of them are even cheating while they're still with their husband. So that's the ongoing thing. Our men, the two of the men they have been raising alarm, trying to alert others that they will better marry the Western women. That leaves those ones they, they will understand better. And the women that are coming here, they should stop coming down to the country to marry whites and take them there. And I have so many things to say as regarding that. Like so much. This video, I don't want this video to be so long. I will just what I was just hint is that those men are coming to marry women they don't they know nothing about. That's that's just me. What I what I've seen. They will just they will just come and at times they will even tell their family down here to you know help them and pick a wife. They don't know anything about those women. They don't even understand themselves. Even the women don't even know anything about them. The most women down here they are quick to jump on the opportunity. Oh, abroad husband, the man will take them abroad, and so they will make their life easier and better for them. Most of them. So of course, when they get that, they might get irritated with the man. So hence why they even do what they do without you know without any remorse. There's so much to talk about. So much to talk about. So but that, I just wanted to paint that picture for for you guys. So, so that you understand where this particular woman is coming from. So I don't know what what the situation might be, what must have you know caused the, caused them to be getting a divorce, you know, to the extent that you know she's even living, she's homeless. I'm just imagining what the situation must have been like. But I just wanted to ask, have you you guys that are there, maybe in US, Canada, UK, you know, Netherlands, Germany, have you guys experienced? Have you guys seen this? Like the African people in the country there. How do, how do you see them live with their families? What has been your, your observation? Just enlighten us on, in the comment section. I, and please, let's be on by yes as much as we can. I understand that women are mostly the ones to jump on situations like this. But let's be on by yes as much as we can. Have you seen or heard anything while in your country from Africans? What has been the family lifestyle there like? What has been your experience so far? Let's talk about them in the comments.